welcome to Stacey D's Kitchen and today we'll be making super cool jelly sweets. Hope you enjoy our tutorial. Izzy, could you please put 250 grams of granulated sugar into your saucepan and followed by 125 ml of cold water. Put it in nice and slowly. Lovely. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to turn it on to a medium high heat and we're going to leave it to boil until it reaches 130 degrees. In the meantime, will you come over here, over to the gelatine please? So it's 25 grams of powdered gelatine and 100 ml of cold water. Could you please pour it in and then give it a stir? That's it. Lovely, and now we're just going to leave that once it's stirred. Now we're just going to leave that and it'll get a bit harder. We're blooming the gelatine in the water before we put it into the sugar. Once it reaches 130, take it straight off of the heat. Right, Izzy, we're going to, I'm going to do this bit because it's really super hot. I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of citric acid and the gelatine, which is now nice and hard because it's bloomed, call it bloomed. And we're going to whisk that, we're whisking that in until it's nice and smooth. Pour it into two different jugs. Izzy has chosen two colours and flavours today for our jelly sweets. What have you chosen, Izzy? Grape and bubblegum. Wow, and the colours? Blue and green. That's going to be very nice. So let's put some green in this one first. I'm just going to, you're going to stir it. I'm going to put a tiny bit in. Okay, you stir it gently. Looks like slime, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now you've done that, let's put some of this in, shall we? Yeah. Which will this is the grape food flavouring. Stir that in now. Can you smell the grape? Yeah. Green grapes we have here. Lovely. Right, stir that one in. And this one we have blue bubble gum. Pretty cool colours you've chosen there. Yeah. We'll put a couple of drops of the bubble gum. You don't need much. Good smell. Mmm. Now these are ready, they've got their food colouring in, they've got their lovely food flavouring in. It's now time to just wait for them to cool just slightly before we pour them into our moulds. You can choose whatever silicone mould you want, but just lightly spray it with some cooking oil before you fill them up. Then it makes it much easier for the jellies to come out when they've set. Izzy, time for us to do some pouring now, I think. Let's give it a go. We're going to make green grape worms. If it does go over a little bit, it doesn't matter, because we can flatten it out with a knife. Mm. Nice and gently. That's it. Now our jellies have been put in the fridge for 45 minutes. They're ready to come out. Cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> These are fun, aren't they? Yeah. Pull it. Pop it on the plate. Which ones do you like better, the worms or the bears? The bears. <laughs> you might have to have a taste. Go on. Yes, please. Go on then. What are they like? They're so good. <laughs> Ten hours later, she's still taking out bears. There you have it. Now you know how to make our amazing gummy sweets. They taste delicious. Thank you for watching our tutorial. We really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please click the subscribe button below. Send us your photographs. We'd love to hear your comments. Until next time, bye.